23-year-old Ashwabanon boy and his family are getting a chance to say thank you tonight to the officers who saved the child's life. NBC 26's Matt Charco live in Ashwabanon now with more. Matt. Yeah, Regina, a special day here at the Ashwabanon Public Safety Building. Today, a family meeting with officers and getting to thank those officers after they saved the life of a little boy. A superhero's welcome for a little boy who's proven to be quite a fighter. Yeah, pretty surreal, actually. Meeting three-year-old Calix and his family today, a group of heroes for the child dressed as Spider-Man. He wanted to meet the first responders. He wanted to meet the people that saved his life. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can't lie. That, that's awesome. Earlier this month, Calix nearly drowned to death at his family's pool. For a time, he was lifeless. He wouldn't have survived if not for these officers. I mean, we thank everybody, but... It's never, it's never going to be enough, really. I... It's pretty cool. Touring the public safety building, Calix is back to his normal self. He's a fighter, and for officers to see that... It definitely puts a lump in my throat. Um, you know, you can't help but put your own children in that situation and, and see them, and that's what I think drives most of us. Now, officers say, fortunately, this is a story of hope, but also a reminder for parents out there. They say it's important for all parents to keep a constant watch on children as these summer months continue. In Ashwabanon, Matt Jarko, NBC 26.